If you come in here and you had somebody steals electricity, it's very easy to do. You pop this off, you pop that out, you connect the two wires, very dangerous. Connect the two wires and you're stealing electricity. They do it all the time. Andrew Cross here with Andrew Buys Homes. Want to tell you a little bit about this wonderful piece of property here. Uh, we've owned this house for probably, I want to say four years. This is one of our early homes that we bought. Uh, if you actually go back to the last house, the lady that I evicted from her, she referred me to these people. I paid her $500 as a referral fee uh, when she brings me a deal. So anyway, I bought this house. It was trash. You can see the pictures of it. It is in awful, awful shape. People were pooping in buckets. People were po pooping in. They finally just like start pooping in the middle of the floor rolling it up and stuff my poor cleanup guy that came through here was it was mortifying it was horrible um, the tweakers had pretty much moved in hundred percent and uh, I was having some title issues with this one so the guy comes in and says hey uh, let me buy uh, let me uh, you can buy this one so this was my very first all cash house didn't have any assistance with it bought it cash fix it up cash so this was my very first actual burr house so this one here holds a special meaning to me but I did something very very extremely stupid in this house I bought it cash and we signed a piece of paper we signed the uh, quick claim deed and I took over the property yay let me tell you about title work so I took it to the, my title company first off and they went and did a full title search and she said well there's this one thing on it but it doesn't really matter so we don't have to worry about it fantastic and I don't remember why I was trying to do a one-two thing. I was trying to be creative, thinking outside the box. And anytime you get outside the box, it starts getting really expensive. So I go in, buy this property, go start fixing it up. Of course, the, I had to go do a full uh, rewire on it. Uh, which was way above what I had planned on spending on it. I was planning on putting a breaker box, ended up having to do a full rewire on it. They came through, stripped out everything. That while they were there, the plumbing inspector, he called the plumbing inspector for me, for, so nice of him, called the plumbing inspector and the uh, gas company for me. So now I had to do uh, permitted work on the electrical and the plumbing. So that was another $10,000 that I wasn't planning on spending. I was planning on spending a little, lot less than that. But also whenever you have tampering, somebody comes in and tampers with this and you call the city in and call it in. You will have to pull a permit. And even if it is just a meter box, they can do just this part right here and do a meter box reset. And that's only, that's less than 500 bucks. This whole set was 1500 bucks. I think it's running about $2,000 now, just with the price of everything going up. Um, I did a 200, let me make sure I did this right. Two, see, I only did a 100 amp box on this one. I screwed up on this. This one has gas, fortunately. You always do a 200 amp box whenever you uh, replace this. We had a problem. Oh, you can even see here, here's one of the, rejection letters we got. We did get a pass. Yeah, there you go. And then here's your approval letters here. They used to be green. We had all kinds of problems. One of the problems we had is one of the failures that we had was somebody broke in and stole half the wiring right before the inspection. Yay! So anyway, if you come in here and you had somebody steals electricity, it's very easy to do. You pop this off, you pop that out, you connect the two wires, very dangerous. Connect the two wires and you're stealing electricity. They do it all the time. The other thing they'll do is come over here. If you notice up here and you see some fun extra wires up there anything extra they're stealing power okay what they'll do is they'll go in there hook up to that wire hook into this breaker box and bypass the meter completely do it all the time you got your breaker box here that, that this keeps all the power from blowing your house out this comes in at 220 so each one of those lines up there, that one line there, that's 100 amp. The other line is 100 amp. And that big line, the other line there is your ground. So what they'll do is they'll tie into those wires and hook it directly into the breaker box. Skip out, they'll just bypass your meter completely, okay? And so what the city will do is they will disconnect it, the power, instead of get, getting to this point, shut it off there. Because when they legally do it and they shut it off at the meter, there's still power all the way up to this point right here. The city turns it off right here. And this is as far as they can turn it out unless the city comes out to the property. So they will just wrap around this and steal power or whatever. So they were stealing power and then they also stole half the electricity. So when they came out, they saw that, they said it needed to be repermanent, re which means a complete rewire, which means 50, it was $5,100 or something like that. I think this house, they got a little bit of a discount, but I think that's going up to about $6,000. I haven't rewired one since the, pan uh, since the pandemic. So I've been very fortunate there. So yeah, I get this whole thing done, spend all the money on it. And 
it, now I'm ready to go refi it. Burr, trying to get my money back out of it. I've got too much money in, in, in this property at this time, point in time to really get it back. Because at the time, this house was only worth about $40,000, 45 to 40, maybe 45. So I was hoping to be in this thing about 34, brand new house. So I was planning on brand new bathroom, kitchen and everything. So this house is beautiful inside. Brand new kitchen, brand new bathrooms. Everything is brand new in here. Same paint color and same scheme as all the rest of our houses. If you look one next door, you can see it has the exact same paint scheme. We don't change. We don't deviate. Everything is exactly the same across all of our house. So anyway, oh look, she, we're on camera too. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, these breaker, uh, we'll have to tell Bree, we'll have to tell Bree, she's probably going to get a phone call. So anyway, we're at the title company. So we've got the thing refied. We got the whole thing ready to rock and roll. We go and put the tenant in there. And now we turn around and we've got a deal. We've got a loan against it. The guy had pulled out a $6,000 loan with interest had gone up to $12,000 on top of everything else. So at this point in time, now I've got this house locked up. If he has a lien against the property. He has legitimate title and he ain't coming off of it. He laughed. He said, well, you got a quick tame deed, young man, which means exactly that. You have nothing. You only have the rights to that property. I right now can write you a quick claim deed to the capital. All my rights and all the interest that I have in that property now transfers to you, which is zero. I have zero rights to the capital building, the building across the street. I could do the same thing. I can write, walk up to you, write write you a quick claim deed, hand it to you, and you are aware it's worth the paper it's printed on, all the equity and all the value. But also, so everybody else could have IRS liens, mortgages, you could have uh, baby mama drama, you could have uh, 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 child support, that's it, child support, you could have, I don't know, IRS liens, state liens, federal liens, uh, car liens, I mean, attorney liens, anything. If you own a piece of property, they have the right to go stick a, a lien against it if you owe money on, on anything. You could do you know, a rent -a center and they could go put a lien against your property. Anything and everything can go against that property. And that's the biggest problem we have with these low-end houses half the time is getting for a clear title because low-end people seem to have low-end problems and they don't pay rent a center. So that was my experience here. Once again, I planned on, I should have, I learned my lesson there. I turn on the power and the water before I move into a property and I put it in my own name. Uh, and that's something that I'll never, ever do again, ever, ever do again is make sure I do that. And the second thing is make sure you have title insurance on the property. Um, you know, I think I was trying to save 150 or 200 bucks because I didn't want to do a double, I didn't want to close it and then close it a second time when I got my refi done. It, it was something simple like that that I didn't want to do. And so it ended up costing me, it was between eight and 12,000. I, I want to say it was 12,000, but it might've been eight. It's been a while. I have to go pull out the paperwork. I also pull out the paperwork on this one and you guys can see the purchase of it. You can see all the rehab on it and you can see all the uh, the title work back and forth that we had got to work on. So anyway, that's the story on that one. The whole time I was on that house, this house as well, the other problem we had is this wonderful neighbor next door was another crack house. They were literally running uh, drugs in and out of this house. We had a plug-in. If you look right here, you can see where we used to have a plug-in on the outside of the house so they could plug in something on the outside. The problem with that was they ran an extension cord. As soon as she go to bed, they plug in an extension cord and run it over there to the neighbor's house because they had already stolen power. They'd already gone through the process of stealing power. They'd already taken off all the way up to the, st the sign. They've already taken off all that stuff. So we had this person stealing from us on a regular, regular basis, which also made things more difficult. This was one of my first houses I actually had to go get an alarm on. And trying to get an alarm on a house that doesn't have power is a really pain in the butt. We had to go get ring over like battery packs and go get battery packs charged and rotate it and they were breaking in at two three four o'clock in the morning uh, I guess this was uh, one of the ladies of the night houses which I can't imagine since they were pooping in the other bedroom how what kind of lady she was but uh, anyway it was it, it was just it was a pain the whole thing was just this absolute pain in the in neck because of this house over here next one we'll go into that wonderful story how we got to get that house but uh, man they just I'm talking the literally the drug house of drug houses over there so anyway good luck to you guys go buy a house have fun and uh, it trust me at the end this house is now worth about seventy thousand dollars so over the last four years it's gone up tremendously in value I knew it would when I bought it I, I knew this area was gonna up and pop I thought it'd take about 10 or 15 years it's taken five I've doubled my value I have made money on this house for five years anyway good luck to you guys and uh, we'll see you next time